Hey Darren, Coach uh, Meyer was talking about this today. When you guys come in as a team and you'll watch five or six plays of the defense and five or six of the offense and guys sort of get to see the, the efforts and everything. I don't know, what, what is that moment like in the team room? Because I'm guessing probably right. I mean, the offense isn't watching you guys when you're on the field and mm -hmm. vice versa. What are those moments like and how do guys react to the other side of the ball? Oh, I mean, we're always rooting for each other. Um, it's a good moment because it's after a win normally. We don't really show anything like that if after we lose. Um, so it's good to see what uh, guys on both sides of the ball get to do. I mean, defensive guys we normally watch because we're always interested in what our offense is doing. Um, I'm sure they probably watch during the game sometimes here and there. We're not always talking ball on the sideline, but um, it's good. It's good to see, you know, guys making plays. It's good for, it's good to, you know, give uh, respect to other guys who are, you know, busting their tail to help us win. Is the offense impressed by the defense? Usually, what, what's the reaction from the offensive guys of the defensive uh, players? Oh, impressed. I mean, I don't know if I would use impressed. It's just more of like defense did their job. Same with the offense. I mean, if the offense is somebody makes some really nice play, it's like, hey, they did their job. They did what they're supposed to do. Um, we don't necessarily make it an, a, a big deal, but um, it is what it is. It's just good to see some guys make plays and stuff. Darren, I don't know how much you know about Northern Illinois, but they've got a pretty potent offense. Um, what what do you know of them, and what kind of challenge will this be for you guys? I'm actually getting ready to find out, but from what I've heard, uh, they're a veteran squad. I heard they have a really nice little line. Quarterback can run. Uh, he can uh, sling it a little bit. Uh, just a lot of juniors and seniors. So uh, we'll just have to be on our game, really, um, just like every other game. But um, I'm sure they'll come in here, you know, ready to take a shot at us. So um, we'll be prepared. Hey, their quarterback in particular, what stands out about him? Because he runs a little bit, but they like to throw it a lot. I mean, you know what I mean? What, a little bit you've seen of him so far, what stands out about him? Really, I haven't seen anything of him any? yet. I'm getting ready to here in a yeah. sec. But uh, just really of what I've heard from our coaches, uh, just that throw line, he, they protect him a lot, and he can he can sling it, and he can also run really well. So it's interesting to see what they have in store for him. Yeah. But, um, you know, I'll just learn more about them as the week goes on. Darren, as you go into a game, do you, do you go in expecting – to make plays, you understand what I'm saying? To affect things. I mean, what's your mindset now as you uh, as you go into games? Uh, well, it depends because normally I'm. It's just like we're out there with that group of guys. It's just it's, it's really a lot of fun, like I said before. So I'm really thinking of like, all right, who's gonna who's gonna do it first? Who's gonna do something first? That's kind of what it's for all of us. Who's gonna lay somebody out? Who's gonna get that sack? Who's gonna get that pick? Uh, but really, it's just I've, what comes to my mind is just doing my job first. Um, and then I guess, you know, making plays will just come doing your job, I guess. I mean, I don't go out there being like, all right, yeah, I got to go do this. I got to go do that. No, I'll just do my job, play within our system, um, and then make a play, make a play. Is there a sense of responsibility on your part, though, when you're kind of set up, like, like you say, some things get called to feature you? <laughs> I mean, the, does that add to, like, your want to? You understand what I'm saying on a particular play? Like if I call? Yeah, like, like come call, off the edge yeah. of the oh, I mean, fumble, you know? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in that case, um, I mean, say if he would have handed the ball off, I mean, try to make the, make a tackle. But, I mean, hey, if you hold the ball and it's a pass, you're coming off the edge, and, yeah, go make a play. I mean, you know, doing your job, doing your job first and then making a play it just kind of goes hand in hand, I guess. Yeah. It's like, you know, if you're doing your job, you're, the coaches are putting you in a position to make a play. So. Northern Illinois has beaten – could you imagine playing a different position than you play right now? Do you feel like it's the perfect thing for you? Who knows, man? I I, I really don't know. Uh, in a in a perfect I mean in a perfect world, you know, some days I think I'm an offensive player. You know, you know you had dreams as a kid. You know, maybe next Ted Ginn or something. But I mean, now that where I am now, I can't really uh, I can't complain. So I mean, no, I can't really picture playing any other position right now. Northern Illinois has beaten four Big Ten teams in the past six years. Do they? Are you? Familiar you with them? Do they come in yeah, with a reputation? Yeah, or? I've heard. Uh, even when I was still in high school, I saw them play big games and they'd win. I mean, they've had a pretty solid team. Uh, they're, they're in the MAC, though, correct? Yeah. yeah okay. So um, I know they're one of the, if not the top team in the MAC. So I know they've been good for a lot of years. So um, you know, I'm expecting this to be a good game. Once I saw them on a the schedule, I was like, that's going to be interesting because they've uh, they played a lot of big games. They've produced some pretty good players, and uh, they, I know they have a pretty uh, well coached team. With your mom working this past Saturday. I, I heard that you were adopted by some of your teammates' <laughs> parents for the day. Is that true? And how much does that mean to you? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, the uh, Buckeye Moms is what they call themselves. You know, that's a close-knit group. Uh, and it's a lot closer than what people realize. Um, and it was a great feeling um, just to see, you know, a bunch of moms. You got to get your hugs. All the kids got to get, get the hugs from the moms. And 
Um, you know, my mom was working that night, so, you know, uh, e Eli's mom and uh, Zeke's mom, you know, they took over the hug duties. So that's, that was a good feeling. Um, made me feel good. They nicknamed themselves. Doesn't that violate a rule or something? Buckeye moms? I have no idea. I just, you there, know, you there gotta, rule you gotta let the moms do their thing. Okay, well, that's you know, you true. get in between that, that's, yeah, bad, that's a bad deal. Darren, uh, Coach Meyer mentioned to us right after the game that he was like emphasizing enjoying the win mm. and that he didn't want to let it happen that, you know, you win 38 nothing and you're thinking negative stuff. How much did he hit that with you guys as a team? Oh, you he know? did. I mean, as soon as he caught down there, he's like, you know, not pretty, but a win's a win. Um, you know, enjoy it, celebrate it. Um, we know in the back of our minds that we did not play, you know, as an entire team. We didn't play our best. Um, but we don't panic. We don't really worry necessarily. It's just like, hey, we still got some work we got to do before we got to get to where we got to get. So, um, you know, just take it day by day. Now we're back on a regular routine schedule. I'm so happy about that.